On November 23rd, an RQ-4 Global Hawk at Edwards Air Force Base reached two milestones by becoming the first remotely piloted aircraft and the last Air Force aircraft to test the alternative fuel mixture known as Fisher Trope Synthetic Paraffinic Kerosene Fuel. The importance of the event was not only recognized by Team Edwards, but by Wright-Patterson Air Force Base leaders as well. This flight today represents the culmination of an effort that the Air Force has had in the last several years to be able to qualify our aircraft to be able to use Fisher Tropes based fuels. But these fuels are built from coal. The next step with the success of this flight today will be to introduce fuels that are made from renewable sources such as biomass. So with this flight, it will indicate that we can use alternative fuels with the Global Hawk. Our next step will be to work with the commercial aviation industry to develop biomass fuels and then test again to see if the Global Hawk can then handle these renewable fuel sources with our overall objective that by 2016 to be able to position the Air Force to be able to get 50% of our fuel from environmentally friendly domestic-based fuel sources that are alternatives to petroleum. During the 32-hour flight, the aircraft flew on a mixture of 25% coal to liquid fuel, 25% natural gas to liquid fuel, and 50% JP-8. Engineers from the 412 Test Wing's Global Vigilance Combined Test Force explained what this test involved and why it was important. The data we'll be collecting will be engine stability data. We'll be looking for a compatibility with our environmental control system. We'll be looking at uh, aerodynamic performance of the aircraft using new fuel. Um, we'll compare the test results with um, the baseline JP8 JP tests that we did a few years prior. If they agree pretty well, then we'll certify the fuel to be used on Global Hawk. Along with this alternative fuel being tested, the Air Force is currently testing another alternative fuel derived from biomass, known as hydro-treated renewable jet fuel. Fuel derived from this source has already been successfully tested at Edwards on a C-17 Glowmaster III, but Air Force officials are making it clear that the quest for different alternative fuels is not a competition. The Air Force is not looking for a, for a single winner. Uh, the Air Force is trying to identify as many different, again, sources of supply, sources of, of, of JP-8. Remember, these fuels will be considered drop-in fuels. They will be blended with JP-8 and called JP-8. So the more sources we can identify uh, of, of fuels that replicate JP-8 performance and, and, and chemical characteristics, the, the better that is because that relieves our dependence, our requirements for the petroleum-based fuels. Jet Fabera, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.